Here are two questions where it might be useful to expand fractions. The first question is asking us to add two fractions. And the second question is asking us to rank from smallest to largest four fractions. In each case, the easiest way to do this is to get the fractions over a common denominator. In order to find the lowest common denominator of two fractions, we need to know what the lowest common multiples are of the denominators 3 and 5. So, what I do is I write a 3 and a 5, and then I list their multiples. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and the list goes on and on. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and the list goes on and on. The lowest common multiple of 3 and 5 is going to be the smallest number that's on both lists, which in this case is 15. If I see that there is no number that's on both lists, it means that I have to continue making the lists longer until I find a number that's on both lists. Let's finish off by answering question 1. We have to write one-third and two-fifths over the common denominator. To get one-third to be over a denominator of 15, we have to multiply our 3 by 5. If we're multiplying the bottom by 5, we have to multiply the top by 5, and 1 times 5 is 5. 5 fifteenths is the expanded version of one-third. Let's do two-fifths. To get 5 to turn into 15, we have to multiply it by 3. What we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top. So we multiply the top by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So 6 fifteenths is the expanded version of two-fifths. Now that we know what our fractions are equal to when they are over the common denominator, we can finish adding them. 5 fifteenths, the expanded version of a third, plus 6 fifteenths, the expanded version of 2 fifths, is equal to 11 fifteenths, and we have our answer. This is one very useful way of using the skill of expanding fractions. Now let's look at question 2 where we're ranking these four fractions. We need them to be over a common denominator so that we can compare them and then rank them. So we will find the multiples of 2, 4, 5, and 10 and find the lowest common multiple. The multiples of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and the list goes on. The multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, the list goes on. The multiples of 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. And the multiples of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. The smallest number that is on all four lists is 20. So we're going to use it our, as our lowest common multiple and our lowest common denominator. Let's expand these four fractions over the denominator 20 so that we can answer the question. To get 2 to turn into 20, I have to multiply it by 10. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So 1 times 10 is 10. To get 4 to turn into 20, I multiply by 5. So I multiply the top by 5. 1 times 5 is 5. To get 5 to turn into 20, I multiply by 4. So I multiply the top by 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 
And to get 10 to turn into 20, I multiply by 2. So I multiply the top by 2, 3 times 2 is 6. Now I can rank my four fractions now that they're all over the common denominator of 20. The smallest one is 5 twentieths. Then we have 6 twentieths. Third, we have 8 twentieths. And finally, we have 10 twentieths. This question becomes very easy to answer once you have expanded the fractions over the common denominator, and doing that is only possible when you're able to make lists of multiples and find the lowest common multiple of more than one number.